Well, we are going beyond bouquets this Mother's Day. I like it. Allison's at a wildflower hike at Ledgeview Nature Center. Hi, Allison. Hey, good morning. Bouquets are wonderful. I'm sure a lot of mothers out there would appreciate those or a potted plant. But if she's maybe a little bit more adventurous, they are having a wildflower hike here at Ledgeview Nature Center in Chilton today at 1 o'clock. And we're with Ron Zeringer, who's the county naturalist. Good morning. Good morning. And this is one of the wildflowers that you'll see today. Correct. That's, that's called wood anemone. It's a small, kind of inconspicuous little flower, but right now, because we're early, it's not fully extended in its blossom. But hopefully by 1 o'clock when we have the tour, it'll be fully out and you'll see carpets of it all through the forest here. Yeah. This, that means windflower, by the way. Anemone is uh, another word for windflower. Okay. So when people come on the hike, they'll get the stories like that. Oh, yes. Yeah, we'll tell them a little bit, not story. only showing them the plant and how to identify it, but if some stories with them and, and some folklore and mythology that go along with the plants themselves. And we see little bits of color, but there's a lot of green, too. Right, right. Well, remember, it's this time of year that the wildflowers in the forest areas are trying to beat the leaves on the trees. So as uh, they've got to get the whole blossoming process done with before the leaves come out. So they're, they're in a rush to get this done right now. Awesome. Some of them are blooming. And as the weeks go on here in May, you're going to see different species that will be in bloom. So beginning we might get uh, bloodroots and hepatica. Now we're going to the trillium stage and the violets mm -hmm. and then later the geraniums. Violets right here. Right. This That's a common name. blue. That's the state flower of Wisconsin right there. Okay. Edible plant, by the way. You could eat it. You could put it in your salad if you wanted to. <laughs> there you go. And speaking of edible ones, you have some in your hand. Here yes, too. we got one that doesn't have a flower. Well, it does later in the summer, but right now this is called wild leek. It's actually it smells just like onion because yes, it's, it's a leek. It's mm -hmm. a leek, right? You could make a soup out of it. You could mm -hmm. do. You could use it for, for anything you use onions for. What are these? Those are this one here is a uh, wild ginger. We're going to see that too. It's not found in quite it's in this area, not. but as most plants are found in their own habitat, and the wild ginger is usually a very uh, mo moist environment or below our ledges in this case. Here's a flower, kind of unusual looking flower. Yeah. Interesting. And uh, it kind of droops over. And it's probably, uh, it produces a seed that's carried off by ants, along with a number of other species at this time of year. And the ants, uh, the seeds have a little bit of sugar on them, and they carry them off and bury them and get another plant started. Okay. Wild ginger, by the way, this is what this is. Great. They use All the right. root for ginger. Thank you so much, Ron. Right. So again, guys, that hike today here at Ledgeview Nature Center, free for mothers. So if you're looking for an affordable gift for your mom who loves nature and uh, love science and things like that. $3 for everyone else. But hey, I wanted to give a special message to my mother since it's Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day, Mom. Um, I think we have, a, we have a picture of the Stroobs there you from do. July 1988. So my mom, beautiful, my mom, Emmy, uh, with the whole family there. And it's kind of a double whammy like Carol Doug. My mom's birthday is tomorrow. So I wanted to say happy birthday <laughs> as well. So uh, my mom, Emmy, I love you very much. A more, a more recent picture <laughs> of the two of us. So before I give you your real present, and I'm going to figure out how to make a cake today. <laughs> Just wanted to say happy birthday and I love you on the air. Great. You are so sweet. And didn't she look so cute as a little girl in 1988? She did, that bright blonde hair. And you still have it today. Yeah. Aw. You're a good daughter, <laughs> So Allison. happy Mother's Day. Yeah, Thank good you. luck baking. See you guys later.